Sitka Riches is a movie about what makes Sitka, Alaska a really special and unique place to live. Sitka is in southeast Alaska. On the western side of Baranoff, we have over 8,600 people and 14 miles of road. We all live by history, cultural, and all community. We want to show you some of Sitka's, how Sitka is rich. And how we have that richness in our very own lives. I think Sitka's most important riches is rain. What's so good about rain? Rain is messy and wet. Yeah. Well, we wouldn't have the Tongass National Rainforest without rain, and it is for sure one of Sitka's riches. A rainforest has to get 60 to 200 inches of rain per year. We get around 100 inches. That's a lot. There are more than a dozen nature trails accessible from Sitka roads. Accessible means easy to reach. For instance, the Beaver Lake Trail, it's three miles long. There are two dozen Forest Service cabins. These are cabins out in the forest open for everyone to use. One is out at Salisbury Sound. But animals live in the forest. Bears live in the forest. So do, so do squirrels, bald eagles, and deer. The Tongass is an amazing forest. connection to the rainforest is hiking. I would go hiking with my dad and my sister. There were two big rocks I loved to go through. Those hikes were so much fun. Every year for my birthday, I go camping to Allen Point. Me and my friends make big fires. We also play in the woods. To me, the forest means camping. I like building fires for the other campers. We have hot dogs for dinner and sleep in the cabin. I have to cut wood for the fire to get big. My name is Shaden Bacon. I'm from the Eagle Wolf Clan. My name is David Bean. I'm from the Raven Frog Clan. My name is Clay Kegel. I'm from the Raven Frog Clan. My name is Hunter Hatmaker. I'm from the Raven Clan. My name is Philip Berger. I'm from the Eagle Wolf Clan. We are from the Klinka people, the first people of Sitka. Klinka people always introduce themselves before they speak. It is more respectful and polite than asking their names. Our people have lived in this area more than 10,000 years. Klinka Hut is the Klinka name of Grand Island where Sitka is located. Klinka comes from the Klinka Shiaka. It means people from outside of the Shi. Shi means island. So it means people from outside of Grand Island. Right. Klinka people are known for really cool things like making stone tools, carving stone tools and house tools, and other great art. But in my life, I do Klinka drumming. The drum is made from deer hide and the rim is bent wood. In Clinket, it is used to lead dancers in songs. In my life, I play tag at the battle site where the 1804 war took place. That is where I play tag. It In my life, I protect ravens because they are my moiety. They re represent my clan. The raven is bigger than a crow. In my life, I'm proud to be a clinket dancer. My family are clinket dancers, so am I. I've danced since I was four or five. My dancing group is called the New Clan Dancers. One of the riches of Sitka is Swan Lake. It's right in the middle of our town. How could anyone make a lake out of a swamp? They would probably dig. dig. The Russians made it so they could make ice from 1840 to 1850. They called it Labishia Lake. They cut the ice and shipped it to California. All the way to California? Right, all the way to California. Horses pulled an iron sled with a sawtooth runner and one smooth runner out on the ice. The sawtooth runner did all the cutting. It took cut eight inches deep. Clinket workers piled the ice blocks and put sawdust on it to keep it frozen. Over 10,000 tons of ice was shipped on some large ships all the way to California. That's an amazing part of Sitka. But... but... My 
personal connection about Swan Lake is that I go ice skating. I go almost every year. One year there was a sledding ramp that I didn't go on because Mom said, No! One year it was so windy I couldn't get back to land. To me, Swan Lake means rafting with my dad because I can see the whole lake with my dad. My dad has to come with me because I'm too young to go by myself. To me, Swan Lake means walking my baby cousin to Swan Lake. We saw so many things like ducks. When we finally got to Swan Lake, we could see the open water. We are going to talk about Sika Historical Park, better known as Totem Park. is one of Sika's riches because it has been there for over 100 years. Actually, 102 years. It is where Indian River goes out into the Pacific Ocean. It is where a battle took place in 1804 between the Clinket people and the Russians. The Clinket people were in their forts near the Indian River and the Russians were in their ships in the bay, shooting at them with the cannons. After the battle, the Russians took over all of Sitka. It is where the salmon still go up Indian River every year. It is also where J.G. Brady collected totem poles and put them in the park in 1905. He brought the poles from all around Southeast Alaska. The, the poles are all along the trail so people can enjoy them. They are all carved from cedar. This is where tourists come every year to learn more about Sika histo history and culture. But... Action. This is where I walk at Totem Pole. I walk on the trails through the forest. I see a lot of stumps. I hear a lot of eagles screeching. I smell the hailing eggs on the beach. I play at the battleground with my dad, brother, dogs, and my mom. That's my connection to Totem Pole. Hey, I'm gonna make a wish. Five wishes if I have to. And it's gonna go like this. I'm gonna think of a wish and I'm gonna set them in. There's one. There's two. Just let me get that in. Here. Think it there. Now I'm gonna think of a third wish. I love making wishes. My last wish. This is the best wish that you can make. Now I'm done with my wishes. And whenever you come by the wishing bear in Total Park, you'd be able to see it. And then take the coins to let other people know that there's other wishes to come. Alright. When we go shell hunting, we always bring a bucket and a shovel. And we put all of the shells in the bucket and go home. We always make a necklace with the shells. And cut! Or your history. Or your culture. Or the science and where you live. Watch, stop looking.